is rocking your body. The entire sin healing down to you. When you were lost in sin and sorrow, I died to set you free just to show you how much I really do. Hallelujah. I really do love you. Praise God. He's worthy to be praised. Amen. Hallelujah. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, he is to be lifted up. He is to be honored because he is valuable to keep. Glory to God. Praise God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The theme is taken from 1 Corinthians 15, verse 58. Glory to God. It said, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. For as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain, in the Lord. Do you hear that, Virgin? Be steadfast, unmovable, and if I should put in unstoppable, that means they used to be going on and on. Glory to God. No matter what the circumstances, hallelujah. No matter the storms, hallelujah. The battle is hot, but continue to be steadfast and unmovable, abounding in the work of the Lord. Hallelujah. Philippians, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10 said, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to fight against the wiles of the devil. For we are not wrestling against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers and darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness. In high places. So all these things. Is upon us. Yes. Spiritual wickedness. In high places. Want to bound us. But thank God for the blood of Jesus. That has set us free. So that. We can be overcomers. We can be victorious. We can be more than conquerors through him that love us. Glory to God. Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty where Christ has made you free. And be not entangled again in the yoke of bondage. Because you have been set free. So be steadfast. Be move unmovable. Be unstoppable. Abounding in the works of the Lord. Glory to God. There is no other foundation that is laid than that of Jesus Christ. He is the rock. Continue to drink from the rock. Continue to talk, talk to the rock. Continue to lean upon the rock. Because the rock of ages, he will cleave for you. And you can hide yourself in him. So that you can be unmovable, steadfast, abounding in the work of the Lord. We are prisoners of God. He has captured us from the ruling world of sin and placed us on this solid rock, which is Christ Jesus. So let us stand upon this solid rock and don't be moved. Glory to God. 
There are so many things to distract us in this world. So many idols. So many deception. There are so many things to cloud our minds from God. But let us be steadfast and be unmovable, abounding in the work of the Lord. Paul said, I am going to fight the good fight of faith and lay all on eternal life. Because there is a crown of life awaiting me. Hallelujah. Will there be any stars on your crown? Will you gain your crown? Will you gain your white robe? The only way to do that is to be steadfast and unmovable, abounding in the works of the Lord. Glory to God. When you look in this world today, you sometimes, if you don't mind sharp, you will end up back right where you used to be. But I'm telling you, keep your eyes upon Jesus. Keep your eyes up on the rock. Hallelujah. No matter what comes your way. Keep your eyes up on the rock. If Jesus said you is going over onto the other side. That means you are going over onto this other side. Be steadfast. Be movable. Abounding in the works of the Lord. Glory to God. The three Hebrew boys. The king said, if they don't bow to the image, my God, you will be thrown in the fire. But pity they never know that they have a God that is their refuge and that is their strength in these terrible times. They said, look man, I'm not going to bow. I'm going to be unmovable. I'm going to be un unshakable. I'm going to be unstoppable. Abounding in the works of God. He said that I am to serve no other gods and I'm not going to serve no other gods apart from the true and living God. Yeah. And they believe in God. Stand upon God's word and they never bow because they know that their God will be deliver. Daniel, he also was threatened when he started to pray three times a day. I'm talking about steadfastness. I'm talking about being unmovable. Glory to God. The king make a decree. Said any man you see, who open the, the window and pray to any any adults God apart from him shall be thrown into the fire, into the lion's den. Sorry. And Daniel never take what the king say. He say, if you want to throw me in the lion, then you throw me in it. But me, I'm going to open up the window and I'm putting my eyes to heaven and I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray. And he did pray. He never go against the will of God. And you know what? The cut charts were a shot. They put him in the lion's den. And let me tell you something. The same one we put him in the lion's den, in turn around, start fret and worry too. Glory to God. Because he know the God where Daniel served. He know about him. I know how terrible and powerful he is. And he fought, my God. He then king of fast and pray. Eh? Glory to God. To show you the type of God that we serve. Glory to God. Daniel went into that lion's den. And when the king went... And call Daniel. He said, Daniel, Daniel said, Here I am, O king. The Lord who I serve, I shut the lion, the lion mouth. Yeah. And nothing happened to me. That's the God that we serve. Yeah. Today, we are to look to the God that we serve. He is the God of our refuge. He's our strength. He's our deliverer. He's our healer. He's our hall in hall. Glory to God. The word of God said in Timothy 
2 Timothy 2, 3, 4 says, Thou therefore endure hardship as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. No man that warreth tangleth himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who had chosen him to be a soldier. Glory to God. We are, learn to, we are to learn to endure hardship. We are soldiers of the cross. Yes, we are to march on and carry to march on to proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ. <coughs> Glo glory to God. But let, us, but let us watch and be sober. For the, in the night, for, the, for the, they that sleep in the night, and they that be drunk are drunk in the night. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love for an helmet of salvation. Glory to God. We got to clothe ourselves in God's righteousness. We have to put on the whole armor of God so that we'll be able to fight against the wiles of the devil. We got to carry the shield of faith, the helmet of salvation to overthrow the enemy. We got to carry within us the word of the spirit, the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God to cut left, right, and center when the enemy come against us. Glory to God. Oh, yes, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Amen. Glory to God. Praise God. We got to wait upon the Lord and be of good courage. He said, I will be with you even unto the end of the world. Glory to God. He commanded us to go and preach the gospel to every nation. Glory to God. Baptizing, teaching, healing the sick, recovering sight to the blind. He said, when we start, go, start to go and do these things, signs and wonder will show up. We cannot do these things on our own self. We have to depend upon God. So we got to stand up on the rock, which is Christ Jesus. Glory to God. On Christ, the solid rock I stand. All other ground is sinking sand. Glory to God. All other ground is sinking sand. Standing on the promises of Christ my King. Through eternal ages, let his praises ring. Glory in the highest, I will shout and sing, standing on the promises of God. Let us stand upon the promises of God. When we stand upon the promises of God, we will be unmovable. We will be settled, abounding in the works of the Lord. Glory to God. <clears throat> Glory to God. The, 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 the scripture said, <coughs> sorry about that. Glory to God. We must work the work while it's day. Because the, the, the night is coming when no man can work. We got to work the work while it is day. Because the night is coming when no man can work. You cannot work in the night because where the night is there is no light. But when the days come, you can see light and you can see clearly. And that light is Jesus. You can see Jesus. You can see that solid rock. You can keep your eyes upon that solid rock so that you can be able to abound in the works of the Lord and be unmovable and steadfast. Moreover, brethren, 1 Corinthians 15.1 I declare unto you the gospel which I delivered unto you, which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand. So, 
He has declared the gospel unto us, and we all know what the gospel is, Jesus Christ and him crucified. He said he has taught, up on, taught us on these things, and we are to stand upon these things. And when we stand upon these things, no evil shall befall us. Glory to God. And no plague shall come nigh our dwelling. But the end of all things is at hand. Be ye therefore sober and watch unto prayer. Without prayer, we cannot stand. Without prayer, we cannot move. Without prayer, we cannot be steadfast. So we have to watch and pray and be sober and be vigilant because the devil is on his track. He wants to stop us from doing the will of God. Whatsoever we are doing for the will of God, he will try to stop us so that the gospel cannot go forth. Glory to God. For now we live if he stand fast in the Lord. Glory to God. First Thessalonians 3 8. For now we live if we stand in the Lord. If we do not stand in the Lord, we cannot live. We are like a walking dead, walking about, don't know whether we are going or whether we are coming. And Jesus come that we might have life. And life more abundantly. Glory to God. So now that we have life in Christ. We are to seek him more. We are to even draw closer to him more. Because he's the one who is guiding us. He's the one who can keep us on track. He's the one who, when, when, when he said we are to go, we are to go. Glory to God. Praise God. We are soldiers in the army. We have to fight. We have to fight. Because if we just stand up and do a fight... Don't clothe ourselves in the armor of God. We'll be knocked down and we'll not be able to get up. Because when the enemy is coming, sometimes it come so sudden, sometimes it come sneakingly. So we got to be on our watch at all times. Glory to God. He is our rock. And so we are to build up our confidence upon that rock. We are to build up our confidence upon him because he is our source wherein we can drink the living water. Dearest Father, I just glorify your God today because you are worthy to be praised. Glory to God. And Moses said unto the people, Exodus 14, 13, Fear not, stand still. Thank you. Oh. Stand still <coughs> and see the salvation of the Lord, Amen. which we will show you today. For the Egyptians whom we have seen today you will see them no more forever. When the wall is behind you, that means you cannot move. You are in our box. Just in our box. The front part is open. You see Pharaoh Hame coming in. What you're gonna do? Are you going to give up? Are you going to give in? Are you going to look to God and let God direct you and tell you what to do? You know what he said to Moses? 
What you have in your hand. Move it, said a rod. God said, if you stretch out the rod, we are in our box. Hallelujah. Pharaoh harm is before us. The box closes us in. Our back is against the wall. Pharaoh harm is. Stretch out your feet. Glory to God. Said in the name of Jesus, no weapon that is formed against me shall prosper. In the name of Jesus, I am more than a conqueror. You cannot touch me. You cannot defeat me because I am washing the blood of the Lamb and I'm bought with a price. Glory to God. Praise God. That is how you talk to the enemy. That is how you will be able to be unmovable and steadfast, abounding in the works of the Lord. Because the enemy does not want none of us to do nothing for the Lord. In the church, he does not want us to do anything for the Lord. Out in the world, he make havoc. In the church, he make havoc. He's just fighting left, right, and center. But let me tell you people, stand fast. Be unmovable. Be steadfast, abounding in the works of the Lord. The water will overthrow you. You're going through the fire. But God is able to deliver. He said if you are going through the waters, they will not overtake you. Just believe his words. Hallelujah. Just believe his words. He's a God of his word. He said his words will not return unto him vile, but it will go forth. Yes. Hallelujah. And accomplish. Glorify God. He is worthy to be praised. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. For other foundations can no man lay than that is laid, which is Christ Jesus. Jesus is the only foundation. That we can stand on. In Psalms it said. When you build your house on the sun. And the wave come. And dash through and fro. It will fall. And that is the end of it. But when you build your house upon the rock. And the wind come. And the waves dash. You will stand firm. Stand firm, brethren. We are in the last days. No joke about it. Pharaoh harm is coming after us. A time is coming when we won't be able to come and sit in here. We have to sit in our house. If we walk on the street, we can't talk about Jesus. But what are you going to do? Are you going to shut your mouth? Or are you going to be steadfast and unmovable, abounding in the works of the Lord? Paul said, I'm going up to Jerusalem. And I don't care what's going to befall me up there. If they want to kill me, then kill me. If they want to stone me, then stone me. If they want to throw me over the precipice, then throw me over there. But I have to go and do the will of God. Amen. Paul said, I don't care. Let them behead me. Let them behead me all no want. But all I know, when I'm dying, I'm going to still be steadfast and unmovable. Stephen, they stone Stephen because he preached Jesus. Hallelujah. They killed Jesus because in claim and one up says he's the son of God. But he never stopped him. He continued to go and preach. When they attack him there, he find another area to go. Praise God. He's not stopped evangelizing. 
He continued to evangelize and he continued to go around and around until they couldn't take it anymore and they kill him. Believe they could stop him. But let me tell you something. They couldn't stop him still. Because when they put him in the grave, he was there for three days and three nights. Glory to God. On the third day, he rose again. And he conquered hell and death. Hallelujah. He said, don't touch me. Because I'm not glorified as yet. I am going to my father. And greater things than these shall he do. Because I go to my father. I am the half and amigo. The beginning and the end. The first and the last. That's the kind of God that we serve. Glory to God. The same thing they do to Jesus. The same thing they do to the prophets. The same thing they do to, the, to, to those that gone on before. They will do the same unto us. But no matter, don't be afraid. But at the latter end... There is a crown of life awaiting us. Our work will not be in vain. We will reign with the Father for a thousand years. Hallelujah. And it will be joy and speakable and full of glory. No matter the pain what we're going on through. No matter the trials we are going through. All these things that we are going through, they are just for a moment. But there's a time is going to come when Jesus shall burst that eastern sky and come in with the trump of the angels to claim his horn. And we will hear, come ye blessed of my faithful servants who have done the will of God. Who is my brothers, my sisters, and my brethren more than them that do the will of God? Amen. Let us continue into the will of God. Amen. Let us not be fearful. Let us not be afraid. The devil is a liar. He will put torment in us. He will put fear in us. He will put out in us because he does not want the works of God to go on. I know that the battle is hot. The conflict is sore. But God is there in the midst of the fire to deliver us out of it. Amen. Glory to God. I just pray that God will have mercy upon us. I pray that God will just strengthen us. I pray that God 